Hi, now here we have an example on coordinate geometry which you might like to uh, try if you haven't done it already. Uh, just pause the video and I'll work through the solutions. You can come back and check them. What we've got here is the line L1 has equation 4y plus 3 equals 2x and the point A which has coordinates P4 lies on the line L1. And in the first part A, we've got to find the value of the constant P. So we'll start with that bit first of all. So if you've got any point that lies on a curve or line, then we know that that point should satisfy your equation. So we've got the equation for L1, that is that 4y plus 3 equals 2x. And we now know that because this point lies on it, it satisfies that equation. So we can say that when x equals p, y equals 4. And just substitute those values into our equation here. So we've got 4y, that's going to be 4 times 4, which in other words is 16, plus 3 equals 2x, x being p though, so that's 2p. So we've got 16 and 3, which is 19, which equals 2p. And if we divide both sides by 2, you end up with p equaling 19 over 2. 19 over 2, which I know is 9.5, but just leave it as a top-heavy fraction. It always looks better that way in this kind of work. OK, well, that's uh, part A. So we'll just move on now to part B. And in part B we're told that the line L2 passes through the point C which has coordinates 2, 4 and is perpendicular to the line L1. And we've got to find an equation for L2 giving our answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0 where A, B and C are integers. Now when I'm doing any question generally on coordinate geometry, I always would encourage you to do a sketch. It's good to do sketches because it can then generally tell you whether you have a correct answer or not, or whether your answer is likely to be correct. So I'm going to draw a sketch here. So I've got my axes X and Y. And I've got this point C which is at 2, 4, so I'm going to say 2, 4 is a point, say, up here. This is the point C with coordinates 2, 4. And we know that we've got our line L1. And I'd like to sketch L1 on this graph here. So I want to put it in the form y equals mx plus c, first of all. So we'll take our graph, we'll just put L1 is such that 4y plus 3 equals 2x. And if I get this in the form y equals mx plus c, then I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides and divide by 4. And so therefore what I'm going to have is that y equals 2x minus 3, that's if I subtract the 3 first of all, and then if I divide each of these terms by 4, I get this. Okay, 2x over 4 minus 3 quarters. 2 quarters, well that reduces to a half, and so I can see that the gradient of L1 is going to be a half, and it crosses the y-axis when x is naught at minus three quarters. So I've got a line L1 looking something like this. Okay, that's my line L1. Just label it like that. So L2 is a line that is perpendicular to L1, so it's going to look something like this. Okay, we'll just label that as L2. Now I've got to find the equation of L2, and so being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. It's that form that I'm going to use in order to get this form here. Because I already know x1, y1, a point on the line, it's going to be 2, 4. x1 will be 2, y1 will be 4. Okay, I just need m, the gradient of L2. Well, 
I can use the perpendicular gradient rule. Remember, we've got the gradient here of L1. Let's just write it in. Gradient of L1 is going to be equal to a half. It's the m value in the y equals mx per c. And the perpendicular gradient rule tells us that the gradient of L2, remember that the product of the gradient should come to minus 1. So what it means is that you just need to reciprocate this, turn it upside down, and swap the sign. So if I turn it upside down, it's going to be 2 over 1, or just simply 2. Swap the sign, and it's going to be a minus. And you can see from the sketch, looks good. The gradient is a negative gradient. And these are visual checks, so that's one of the reasons why I encourage you to draw a sketch. So we've got the gradient of L2 is minus 2. So we're in a position now to finish this off and just say that therefore, okay, the equation of L2, okay, is and it's going to be of the form y minus y1, y1 is the 4, equals m, the gradient, which we've just seen is minus 2, and that's multiplied by x minus x1, x1 is 2. And if we just expand the bracket here, we therefore have y minus 4 equals minus 2x plus 4, and then I want to make the coefficient of x a positive number here. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides, so I therefore have 2x. Come in now with the y term there, so that's plus y, and then I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so minus 4 minus another 4 is going to be minus 8. And that equals 0, so you can see I've got it now in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught, where a would be 2, B would be 1, and C would be minus 8. Not that we have to give those values for A, B, and C. We're just told that they must be integers. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then on how to do that question, or those parts of this question anyway, uh, if they were giving you problems. Now, there's other parts of this question, and uh, they're in another video, but again, it is important, I believe, to draw a sketch because in the next part, we're going to have to work out where these two lines intersect. And you can see it's going to be a point somewhere around here. So if I got, say, minus 3, 4, I, could, I would know that that was clearly a wrong solution just by looking at the sketch. So uh, there you go. All right.